Hi there, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to scrape data from any website using Axiom.ai and ChatGBT. This method is particularly useful for scraping unstructured data. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom, a no-code browser automation tool. Let's dive in. First up, a little bit of context. This template I'm about to show you can be used on any website, not just the LinkedIn example I'm about to show you. So what this template does is the following. It reads URLs from a, a Google Sheet. And as I mentioned, I'm using LinkedIn, but it can be any website, not just LinkedIn. It then opens those URLs, in this case, a LinkedIn profile. It scrapes the body of the page, and then ChatGBT will extract the data we want from that body that Axiom has just scraped. And then finally, it writes that data to a Google Sheet. But like I said, this template can be used on any website. I'm just using LinkedIn as an example to help teach you how to use this template. Next, you will need a Google Sheet before you can get started and configure the bot. Here's the one I've set up. Now I've got two tabs in my sheet and I've got one tab where the links that I want to loop through and scrape are stored and I've called that links and one tab called data and that's going to be used to write the data that I scrape and extract with ChatGBT2. Next up, install the template. Now, if you've discovered the video on YouTube, go to axiom.ai. At the top of the page in the menu, click on template. You'll find this and many other templates you can try. Now, if you're on the template page and you have an Axiom account, click the button, button at the top or the button just to the side there to install the template. If you haven't got an Axiom account, don't worry, click the button, set up Axiom, and then you'll have some free runtime to play with and test out your automations and discover the magic of browser automation. With the template installed, we are ready to configure it. Now it's only gonna take five steps to configure this template, so it's not gonna take long at all. I'm gonna click and expand Axiom, and let's dive in and set up the first steps. So, step number one is the first step we need to set up, and it's a read data from a Google Sheet step. I'm gonna click and expand that step. Within the spreadsheet, I'm going to select Click and select the sheet that I created and showed you earlier. That's the sheet selected. Next, the sheet name. And the sheet name I'm gonna choose is links because that's where I've got the URLs that I want to visit to scrape stored. And below you can see in the output preview, you can see the URLs that I had in the sheet that I showed you earlier. So that's that first step set up, that simple. I'm gonna collapse that step now. And now we're going to move down to step two. And the steps we need to configure now are all sub-steps within step two. They're all nested inside of that loop because we want to loop through the URLs stored in the Google Sheet. Okay, step 2.1 is the first step I need to set up in my loop. I don't need to set up anything in the loop step two because it will be configured as we go down and set these steps up. So I'm going to expand step 2.1. Now, I don't want to get the current URL. I want to insert data and pass the URLs from the Google Sheet, which is, you can see in the preview, the URLs, I just could select them and insert the token into the enter URL field, and that's it, that's done. You also note the loop through data has now been set and the loop is all set up for us. That's step 2.1 done, I'm going to collapse it. Okay, step 2.2 is our scraper step where we scrape the content that we want from LinkedIn. We need to go onto a profile page so we can choose the area that we want to scrape. So I'm gonna tab over to LinkedIn. You'll see Axioms set up and open here. And it's got, it's the right steps have been configured that we've just seen we've done in the other tabs. Now I'm going to expand step 2.2 and set this one up. So what we want to do here is select a broad area that contains the um, body of content that we wish to extract data from. So to do this, it's pretty simple. We use Axiom's no-code selector tool. I'm just going to move myself up out of the way for a moment. 
up into that corner and I'm going to press select and you'll see our no code selector tool here. It's literally point and click. And I'm going to choose a large select, sorry, a large area. You can see a small preview of the content there. And as simple as that, I'm going to press complete. So within that area I've selected, it's got all the content that I wish to extract. Now, of course, we've got other options within the selector tool that you'll find more information about on our website. You can select different types of data from text, HTML, links, images, etc., and you can set custom selectors. But I've done everything I need to do, so I'm going to press complete. That's step 2.2 setup. I'm going to collapse that step, and we're going to go on to step 2.3. So let's click on step 2.3 and set up ChatGBT step. Okay, first of all, you'll note we'll need the API key. And I should say that never share your API key with anyone else unless you're doing so intentionally because of course there is a fee associated with it. You will see my API key on screen. And of course this video will be public, but I'm going to delete the key after the video has been made. So. I've already got my key. I'm going to cut and paste it in there. That's the first part of this step set up. Now, what we need to do next is pass in the data that ChatGPT is going to use to extract data from. That's easy. Under, under data, I click insert data, and I'm going to choose, I'm not going to choose the Google Sheet data because that's got no data in it. It's just a URL. It's the scrape data that I want. Here you can see all the text and I want to extract some data from that text. So I'm going to press save and close. Next, we need to set up the extract values. Now, we have templates within the um, ChatGBT step that you can try, or you can add your own values separated by a comma. I'm going to choose the LinkedIn profile data template that we have. Next up, you can select the model you can use ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo or ChatGPT 4. I'm going to leave it on 3.5 Turbo. That's sufficient for this task. I don't think this task warrants ChatGPT 4. Okay, that's that step set up. Let's go on to step 2.4, a write data to Google Sheet. So this is the step where we're going to write the data that ChatGPT is extracted into the Google Sheet. So we want to select the sheet that we created. Pretty much a repetition of what we did earlier. And we want to select the sheet name. We don't want to write to the link sheet because um, obviously that's where we got the links. So we want to write to the data tab this time. Next, we want to select the data that we write into the sheet. And that data, of course, isn't going to be the Google Sheet. And it won't be the scrape data because we haven't extracted anything yet. It's going to be the chat GBT data. Press Save and Close. Now, I always, in the Write Options, I always click on Add to Existing. If you have clear data before writing, that just wipes the sheet before it adds the new content. That's that step set up. Now we've got one final step set up and then we can get to the exciting part where we can run the automation and watch the magic. So I'm going to expand step 2.5, delete rows from a Google Sheet. Why do we delete rows from a Google Sheet? That's because we're looping. We don't want to loop through the same row more than once. So once a single loop has been performed, we delete a single row. So when the loop goes back round, it reads a new row from the sheet. Here we go, spreadsheet URL. Again, we choose the same sheet. We don't do anything for set sheet, sheet, sorry, set sheet URL from data. That's a completely different option. Sheet name. Again, we want to um, delete from the links because that's got the URLs. We only want to delete a single row. So leave first row to delete and last row to, to delete set up as they are by default on one. Okay, that's the configuration done. Now for the exciting part. Right, let's get on with it. Let's run the bot. Let's right. Let's get on with it. Let's run. Right, let's get on with it. Let's run the bot. Let's see the magic. I love this part. I never get tired of watching bots run. Okay, so we can run this bot in the cloud or on the desktop. I'm going to run it using the desktop app. That's because my preference is to test 
all my bots first with the desktop app. Now, Axiom should open up. Now, the one thing I did do was disable the, um, and I'll show you how I did that, disable the delete step, just because if I'm running a test and it doesn't work, I don't want it to delete any rows. But this is Axiom doing the automation. It's loaded in the LinkedIn profile. Now we should see it go orange, that's it. The Axiom scraper fetching the data for ChatGBT to extract from. ChatGBT will now be doing its magic with the API, so we're not seeing much here. But shortly, we should link through to the next profile, Yasir. And we should see the same orange selection happen. And then ChatGBT will extract from that data. And we should see it right to Google Sheets any minute now. So I'm just going to tab over to Google Sheets. And here we can see the data that our automation extracted. We have the name and job title. How simple was that? So you've seen the magic. Hopefully you understand why I love browser automation so much. Now, keep in mind, you can customize this and any other template you try on Axiom. I'm just going to expand the template quickly and talk you through what you could possibly do. You can, for example, add steps to log in if you want to scrape data from behind a login. You do that outside of the loop because you don't want to loop through logging in every time. So you probably add the login steps above step one. You can also add steps like click on element if you want to reveal some data that doesn't load on the page straight away. You could insert a click step to load that data. Anything's possible with Axiom using the steps we have available. And don't forget also, um, I shouldn't forget that you can customize the ChatGBT step as well. You don't have to use the, the LinkedIn template that I showed you. Not the right step, sorry, the um, extract step. You can customize completely. You can add your own values that you wish to extract. Let me just remove those simply by adding a comma, for example, and then you can extract further information. So you can completely tailor that step to the, the site you're trying to extract data from and the type of data that you want to extract. If you get, finally, a few tips just in case you get stuck. So I'm gonna open up the Axiom and just talk you through those tips. Now, if you want to limit the amount of steps you loop, loop through, or the amount, sorry, if you want to limit the amount of URLs you're going to loop through in a larger run, you can set a first cell and a last cell. So if I wanted to loop through a single row, I'd do A1 to A1. Or if I wanted to um, loop through 50, although I haven't got 50 rows, it would be A1 to A50. Okay, so next up, getting data from the current bots page. So just a reminder, do try and select the wider body of text that you want. Now, if you have any issues doing that, why not try a custom selector and type in body. Simple as that and press set selector and then complete. Okay, what's the next tip? So following on that, from that, the extract data with um, the ChatGBT step, I'm just gonna expand that again. Do make sure you've got a valid API key. You will get an error message back if it's an invalid key. Now, do make sure you're um, extracting data from the um, correct step. So make sure that's set to scrape data. And then the values do check the values and it, you may need to experiment with the values that you're trying to extract to, to produce a result. Okay, finally, writing data to the Google Sheet. If you're not getting any output, do, um, do make sure you've selected the correct sheet and the sheet name and do make sure the data is coming from ChatGBT and add to existing. 
Now, I showed you, told you earlier that I disabled the delete rows because I was doing a test. Now, this is how to disable and enable a step. Just click the kebab menu in the step. Simple as that. Okay, that's it for this video. Please do remember we offer excellent customer support. So reach out if you need some help via our support form. You'll find it on our website. Thank you very much.